devil with the silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? Refuse him, no matter how tempting the offer, no matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you. The cost's always too great. That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. And then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure. But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. Do not trust a devil. Is that plain enough? Refuse him no matter how tempting the offer, no matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you. The cost's always too great. Take a single step towards him and he'll dog you the whole journey. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with, and then require more still. That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. Who better to warn you of the danger ahead? He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. I made a mistake. This is your chance to learn from it. He'll require of you only what you're least ready.